Hey, I'm Roger from NVIDIA. I work on our, of our hardware launches. I'm here in the NVIDIA booth at E3 2013. Um, what we have today is actually have GTX 780s powering a lot of the new and more graphic intense games that are out there. So Metro Last Light, we've got War Thunder. Um, what's really cool about this is with GTX 780, faster, smoother, quieter performance to play the most graphically intense video games. Um, so with Metro, for example, it's a great new game that came out about a month ago. Um, we can see our technologies like PhysX, DirectX 11, um, really make the game a little more enriching uh, and immersive experience for the gamer. Can you talk a little about how NVIDIA is utilizing 3D, because you can play in 3D on these uh, cards as well. Correct. And it's actually supported with Metro Last Light, so you can play 3D and 3D surround. So obviously playing a more immersive experience with 3D, and then you get three monitors together with 3D surround. It just makes this a really more powerful and immersive experience for the gamer if that's what you're looking to do. What are some of the advantages to having an NVIDIA GTX card in your machine? So there's a, there's a number of them. One, it, it's actually uh, specifically 780 and 770, which are both out right now. More powerful than what our competition's putting out there, more powerful for them than our previous gen. Um, 780, for example, 50% more cores than previous gen, 40% more powerful than what our competitors are putting out there. And it means just for the games that are out now and the more graphic intense games that are coming out there in the future, you get great frame rates, fast, smooth, whisper quiet, so you can really focus on your gaming. In addition, we actually bring technologies that make the game better for you, the gamer. That's things like PhysX, which is a particle sieve, which actually makes it more immersive. When things explode, you actually see the particles come to life. So it means that you just get a, a richer, deeper experience than maybe what you could have seen before. There's actually 780s in here today, but both with GTX 780 and 770, you can actually stream your games with Shield. So playing on the go and also get a really beautiful, smooth experience, whether it's portable on the go or streaming directly to your TV. Where can people find more information about the GTX 780 and when is it coming out? So GTX 780 actually came out a couple weeks ago, as did the GTX 770. Go to GeForce.com, you can find out a lot more information. It's really exciting stuff that's going on.